how do you find and listen to your inner child? So we all understand when you watch a kid play for the first time and do different things for the first time, you see the excitement, the joy, the energy that they're able to put into it. But why is it that we as adults don't find that inner child more often? That inner child is what allows us to be the most ourselves that we can be. And I'm not saying that you don't have responsibilities and to be goofy and silly, but understand you have to tap into that inner you, the person without any of the world's exterior energies have that have affected it. A great quote that I remember seeing is from Kanye West, and he was basically talking about a kid jumps up on a coffee table, and he's looking at this coffee table, and he feels like the man, right? Superman. Someone says, get off that coffee table. Because again, why are you standing on a coffee table? But realistically, the rules of what, well, who cares? It's just a table, right? Just stand on whatever you want to stand on. It's a barrier. And he was making a pretty intelligent analogy as to the more coffee tables end up in your life is all those barriers of someone telling you, don't do this, don't do that. No, not that. No, not this. And then it in turn affects you. And then you live your life with a wall of these coffee tables. It was a great analogy. And I'm sad to think it like, you know what, Kanye, that was really profound. I really like that. And it was interesting because when I listened to that, it made me think, how many times in life have you been told, oh, don't do that, don't do this, da, da, da. and all these pressures in life, pressures in life, exterior things that just have now made you someone that isn't in touch with your inner self. You're not in touch with that inner child. Obviously, psychologically and emotionally, that inner child is who you really are, that inner you, the person that you are when no one else is around, right? The acting goofy, the being silly, but also being able to be yourself wholeheartedly without any judgment. That's your inner child. How do you find this persona? Me personally, a way that I found to do this is by doing the things you love doing without any regret or any remorse of the people around you. So for example, me personally, I tend to be a little silly and goofy sometimes, especially when I'm with family. I'll be the person who'll stand on a chair randomly and be like, oh, run, a little nut job, right? But someone will look at me like, why are you doing this? But to me, it makes me feel myself. I'm able to exert this energy that I'm holding in, holding in, holding in, because when you're out in the real world, sometimes it's hard to be who you really are or like that inner goofball. And people always say like, oh, the person I am when I'm home is different than when I'm out or this or that. But you have to be able to tap into that inner child when you do things, when you want to be creative. When you want to be open, honest, vulnerable, you have to tap into that inner child. Even psychologically, when you think about your emotions, you have to understand why you feel the need to prove people wrong, why you feel this urge to do the right thing, or you're afraid to say no, you're afraid to set boundaries because that inner child in you, right, that trauma or whatever it is that you kind of went through shaped who you became. And again, make sure that you tap into that inner child and do it for that person. So imagine you look yourself in the mirror and you're looking at your younger self. What would you tell yourself? Would your younger self look up at you and be like, wow, you're an adult. Wow, you do that? That's so cool. Or would you think your inner child would be, dang, I thought we'd do something else. I thought we'd do more, right? And it's that deep conversation you have to have with yourself where it's like, would 10-year-old me look at 25-year-old me and be happy? Would he be proud? And once I started thinking this way, I was like, okay, anything I do now, let me make sure little Lali is happy with who I'm becoming. And then I could look at little Lali and be like, Keep going, young kid. Like, keep going, keep dreaming, keep doing your thing. It's that kind of energy you have to have. And I think that to find that inner child, you have to be in tune with yourself. And you have to allow yourself to play. Allow yourself to be yourself. Don't succumb to the pressures of the world. Don't only live the world in this little box. Be an outward thinker. Critically think about different things. Be imaginative. Do something that's new all the time. Get yourself to be doing new things so that you can kind of tap in and find that inner child. A way where you can tell that you might have lost this inner child is if you're emotionally disconnected. You kind of feel run down. You're grobsy. You're not as happy as you once were. You're not as bubbly as you once were. You're not as happy with life as you once were. Things are looking dull. Things are boring, right? Spice it up. Be interesting. Learn something new. The reason why as a kid, everything seems so fun and entertaining because you're learning things for the first time. But there is a vast amount of things you can try in this world. Try new things. See how you feel and tap into that inner child again. And something that I will definitely talk about more often, something that I really care about is the importance of playing. People think that playing is only for kids, but the older you get, the more you actually have to play because you get less time to. So you have to utilize this time of play. What is play? Whether it be chess, whether it be a little silly game that you play outside in the garden. All right, run around, do this, do that, be active. Use your brain different ways. You don't want to live a very boring life or a monotonous life. So you don't have to. Make sure you find ways to play. Even if it's a video game, find a way to play. Be young, be silly, because you don't want to live a life of just work, 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 grind, 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 grind. 
because you're going to burn out. You're going to mentally drain yourself. You're not going to be as creative. You're not going to be the person that you need to be. You're not going to be a good role model for the people around you. Because again, you have to have something to you that's deeper than just this physical realm of work, sleep, work, sleep. You got to have some personality and allow yourself to. We all have it. We just have to tap in and focus on it and again to find that inner child some things that i would really recommend is being curious drawing being artistic trying to create something be fun bubbly and have that curiosity to life be passionate about life itself try new things these are a bunch of different ways where you can try tapping back into that inner child and again healing from past traumas understanding who you are as a kid and who you evolved and became because again we're a product of our habits in our environment so make sure you understand them so you can then become the best version of yourself and tap into that inner you. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Please leave in the comments down below all the different times you felt like you've tapped into your inner child and when you felt the most yourself. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Thank you again.